Welcome back to the Yeah No I Know podcast. Um, happy Halloween! We might, might look a little different. If you're on YouTube watching us, you can see our Halloween costumes. Yeah. If you're not, Sucks you don't you. get to see this really cheap. We wig. have Wilma. <laughs> we got Wilma here. We got Cher from Clueless and Wonder Woman. Yeah. We got like brunette, blonde, and redhead. We're like rubber oh my gosh. <laughs> See, we're a. So today, today we're talking about spooky <laughs> stories. Encounters? Do you believe in spirits? Do you believe in do you not believe activity? Mm -hmm. Aliens? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. will start by saying I do, as a person of faith, I believe in the spiritual realm. And so I yeah. believe in the good and the bad that comes with that. Mm -hmm. um, I will say, like, I definitely, like, we blessed the room before. <laughs> and we'll do it after. Yeah, before talking about this, because we don't yeah. want to invite no evil spirits mm -hmm. into here. Um, have you guys seen the movie Paranormal Activity? No. I feel like I, no, I don't oh, think I have. Even if really? commercials come on with that kind of stuff, I'd turn it. So that was the movie that did it for me because I was probably like 18 or 19, went with like some boys and my friend to go see oh, the movie. Oh, you went to the theater. Yeah. I slept with my Bible, I'm not kidding you, for like weeks mm -hmm. and then like had to like call my pastor and talk to him because oh I was gosh. so terrified of like demons and just understanding like I believe in that I know that it is yeah. real like there's angels and there's demons and I now I know like I will not watch those movies I do not mess with that stuff I'm like terrible. you don't watch scary well, movies no mm -mm. really I, I used to love it, scary movies like I remember love you saying that until I saw the hills have eyes and I turned it off oh, and I've not watched so one creepy. since do yeah. you guys like drive through the desert and be like is, is there gonna be spikes in my tires no no <laughs> <laughs> I think of that when I'm like driving to have oh a suit gosh. I'm like Please don't let there be spikes in my tires. Like, well, apparently, <laughs> so I was born in the city that the Chainsaw Massacre occurred. <gasps> oh, really? Fun really? little fact. What city is that? Georgetown, Texas. Shout out. Oh, I only nice. lived there until I was like three months old. So now, like, let me preface me. by saying I don't watch movies with like demons or ghosts, murder stuff. Oh, oh hell she's yeah! I'm. My husband tries to rephrase me because I say I love murder, like I'm obsessed with murder. He's like, maybe we shouldn't say that. Maybe we should say we like murder shows or series. I'm like that basic B who's like, give me a glass of wine and I want to put on some murder shows. Like, I love it. Like, I watch Stoss all those. And we're just really, really, really nice to Brooklyn. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Stassi from Vanderpump, like she always talks about oh, how yeah, she loves. you two are a lot alike. Stassi, like if you're listening, we, we need to be you. friends. Like you and I would literally be best friends. Mm -hmm. We did like pour a glass of wine, let's watch some murder shows. I'm here for it. Yeah, but now it. demon like stuff. Yeah. Mm -mm, no. So you've never seen like The Exorcist oh, or hell no. I've seen it, but <laughs> mm -hmm. nope, nope. So wait, what are some of your before we get into some of the scary stories that y'all submitted? Thank you so yeah. much for that, by the way. Yeah. Um, what are some of your favorite like Halloween movies? Like every year, you pull it up, you find them, you watch them. Like what are they? Oh yeah, Nightmare Before Christmas. Even that though I is know, not. There's a big debate. Okay. It's okay. more Christmassy that one, I think. I, I do, guess. and I Thank feel like you. it's more not because all poll? the characters are creepy. Yeah, no, it's not about. What do you think? It's we're about decorating for Christmas, though. Yes, but it's, it's nightmare. All of the characters are creepy. It's in the name. It's a creepy vibe. It's the nightmare before Christmas. Yeah. It's a Christmas. Yeah, movie. I. That is like my childhood okay. favorite movie. Like, That's a good one. I think Hallmark a, is Christmas. Nothing gets me more in the mood for Christmas than the nightmare before Christmas. But I'll Christmas. watch them for both. I'll watch oh, them yeah. for both. Well, but. It let's, gets, but let's start it. We need to do like a poll. We need people to like comment and be like, do you think The Nightmare Before Christmas is a Christmas movie or a Halloween movie? Yeah, let us know. if you think it's know. Halloween, you're wrong. But it's fine. <laughs> if it's Christmas, you're Didn't wrong. Didn't we just film an episode about not being not judgy? Not judgy. Yeah. Like I'm judging. Hardcore. It's okay. Halloween, but I love you. <laughs> okay, that's a good so, one. Just um, break the tie. Of course, Hocus Pocus. I just, I already did. Oh, you said oh. Christmas. Yeah. Okay. I was that's about to okay. say Hocus She may Focus. change her mind in like four episodes. Okay, so Let's other see. Halloween movies, of course, Kristen. I love Hocus Pocus. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. And Beetlejuice is oh, like... Oh, Beetlejuice. I mean... Oh. Did you ever see yeah. Drop Dead Fred? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's I like have. so underrated. Drop Dead Fred was it. really good. Never seen it. Never heard of it. Okay, we're having a movie night. Once Bitten is really mm. good with Jim Carrey. Never heard of it. That is such a good one. He's a vampire virgin. Mm. Like, he's a virgin. Yes. He has to, like, yes, have yes. sex before midnight. Like, it's such a good one. <laughs> that sounds um, funny. We'd love to hear your guys' yeah. uh, thoughts on, like, like, what's your favorite... Like Halloween fall movie, Sleepy Hollow. Hmm. Oh wow, I haven't seen that in a yeah, long time. Yeah, it's really good. I Andy, seen it so I just long. watched it like a year or two ago for the first time, and was like, oh, this is such a good like 
Halloween movie. And then have you guys, super cheesy, have you seen Halloween Town? Oh my gosh, I love the Halloween Towns. <gasps> Me too! I watch those every year, dude. I just watched it for the first time like a week ago. Yeah. I oh, like, I've been watching I, that for I years. I might have watched it while it's, my kids were watching it. There's like three it, of them. Yeah. Return to Halloween Town. That's a really cute one. I also really love Double Double Toil and Trouble with Mary Kate and Ashley. Oh, yeah. Like that's an old oh, one. Yeah. Andy's been teasing me because recently Hulu put on Sabrina the Teenage Witch and I started watching it. Oh, like, just I for, love like, Sabrina. Both yeah. of them. The yeah. old one and the other one. They're I great. liked Clarissa Explains It All. If we're talking about I the actress. loved that <laughs> show and also Blossom. It has nothing to do with um, right. Halloween. But... Showing Wait, who's... Age. Okay, right. I'm blanking and you're gonna like tear me to shreds, but who is it that did The Nightmare Before Christmas? Tim Burton. Tim Burton. Tim Burton. I feel like anything Tim Burton get get you in the like Halloween mood. Yeah, we just yeah, watched that's true. Um, mm -hmm. the cor my corpse bride or the corpse bride. That was yeah. a cute one. Too. Oh, I, feel I like, like that. They all kind of like teeter totter because like Edward yeah. Scissorhands is kind of Christmas oh. but scary. <gasps> yeah, I love that's my okay. That's my probably all time oh, that's Christmas a good one. movie is Edward, Edward Scissorhands. Scissorhands. And I think Halloween. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's a Christmas one for me too. Because like. I the feel like snow like, angel. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I I know. It's just I feel like it's it can be either. It was a weird thing. My yeah. dad would always have us watch Edward Scissorhands when around Christmas time, like when I was little. So nice. That's yeah. why me and my Christmas son's movie. is Nightmare Before Christmas. Like yeah. when he comes home for Christmas, he's like, "We're watching that." I'm like, "Absolutely." See? Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Christmas movie. Well, he's coming home for Christmas. He won't mm. be here for Halloween. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So I posted on my Instagram story. Who believes in par paranormal activity? Paranormal. Paranormal happenings, ghosts, spirits, etc. Eighty-six percent said yes, I believe. Dang. Fourteen percent said no, I don't. Oh, so, okay. So most people believe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we've got some stories that you guys submitted. These were really fun to read through, and I was reading my reading my I was reading my coffee this morning. <laughs> uh, I don't do that. I don't know how to read. They do that in Turkey. I don't, I don't know how to do that. But I was drinking my espresso this morning, <laughs> staring out at the sky, and I was reading some of these stories in between sips, and they were creeping me out. I had like goosebumps, and I was freaked out, and it was broad daylight, and yeah, mm -hmm. they're creepy. Yeah. So I do have one actual kind of creepy story and I'll, okay, so I was basically in the, I lived in Hollywood at the time and my friend Anto and I, we always got together to paint. So he was hanging out in like the parking garage and like I lived like super close to like the, the walk of fame, like all that, you could walk to all that. Um, so all those buildings just feel like have some, you know, old history. history. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I'm sitting, I had a Pontiac Firebird and I was sitting on the very edge of it and he was sitting like where Brooklyn is and like was looking somewhere else and looked over at me and he kind of like did a double, t like kind of like a double take mm -hmm. and I was like, what? And he's like, stop for a second. He's like, you didn't see that. And I was like, see what? <laughs> and he's like, there was literally like an old, and he described the guy like to a T. He was like, there was this guy in like overalls with like a beard that was literally just hunched over like this like staring at the side of your face and i was like what and so like he even like described like his hair color like i don't remember all the details but i was just like are you serious like that's so that's creepy weird. and he, he wouldn't lie mm -hmm. about it like he's just not that do you have like person. a grandpa or someone that you know of that that looked like them or no i have had a grandpa but i wasn't super close to him um yeah. and he did have a bit of a beard I don't remember if he ever wore Maybe. overalls or anything. Huh. So I don't know if it was related to me. You should me. ask someone. Yeah, I don't know if it was like related to me or what, but mm. um, yeah. So a lot of people are saying too that like unrelated to my story, like kids and animals are closer to like the spirit world. Is yeah. that something that you guys think yeah. too? Well, like, my open to it? son definitely like looks, I don't know, at the, we say it's the ceiling fan, but he just kind of looks and he'll be like laughing and talking and oh yeah, we're They're like, oh, okay. looking around, looking at something. Yeah. And Someone my, said that about their cat. My, I was yeah. going to say my cats have done the same thing too. My There's like this too. certain spot in my house where like my cats would like stare at and then I've noticed Jensen will stare at it too. I'm like, that's a weird coincidence. But we did mm. have something weird happen at our house because um, we just moved a couple months ago. And I do, like I said, I believe in this stuff. And I think that there was like a spirit or something there. Um, I've now like like kind of anointed the house and like prayed against it and all that. Um, but so the first night there, we have a motion detector light in our bathroom. And the cats are so low down. It's not the cats that make it go off. I'm not kidding you. It went off like six times in the middle of the night. Like just... Andy and I are sleeping and the light's like going off. And that would creep me out. At first, yeah, at first we're like, oh, is it like a circuit or something? I don't know. But 
and we're like, oh, maybe it's the cast, and then it just happened so much. Now we have to like cover it, the motion detector. Um, so that happened, and then um, uh, one time I was taking a bath, and I like to have candles lit. Well, I had this candle where the wick um, had gone down into the wax, and so I tried lighting it, but it never like lit. If that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. And so, um, so I just lit my other ones and took my bath, blew them out, went to bed. Well, in the middle of the night, I see something flickering, like, in the bathroom. And I was like, Andy, Andy, like, get up. And I was like, one of the candles is on. And it was that, I got the chills, like, it was that small candle that it, I, like, I did it myself, you guys. Like, it would not light. The flame would not catch. And, like... Uh. In retrospect, there's kind of an explanation, like maybe it heated up to the point to where all the wax melted and then it caught on fire, but I'm talking like two, three in the morning, like hours and hours and hours later, this small little candle in my bathroom was Creepy. freaking going off. And Andy had to get up and like, blow. I was like, what candle is it? He's like, it's a small one. I was like, it wouldn't light earlier and now Ugh, it's lit. Like, yeah. yeah. So hence I like <laughs> prayed things I away from that. my house. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't know. I don't, I'm still unde undetermined what I believe in. I believe in angels and I believe in demons. Mm -hmm. I believe there's like a spiritual battle. Yeah. I don't know if I necessarily believe in ghosts or right. aliens or things like that. Um, I think that, I think what I believe, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm still on that journey. I don't know what it is yet, so I'm not going to say this is what I believe. But I think mm -hmm. that demons can pose as people that we've mm -hmm. loved and, mm -hmm. um, you know, make themselves appear. I think that's what I think. That's what, when I had, like, I had to call my pastor when I, like, watched yeah. Paranormal Activity. That's kind of what he had said to me. He was yeah. like... According to the Bible, like, ghosts don't exist, but right. demons, like, pose at it. But I don't know. Like, I will say, and coming from, like, that's my faith. Like, so I should stand by that. But um, I have, uh, I won't say who it is, but someone close in my family who recently opened up to me. And, like, like basically she's a medium and has told me stories. She's like, I don't want to freak you out. But she told me a lot of stories where... Um, like a good friend of hers, she saw um, his, I think it was like his grandparents and like there was like very specific things that like the spirit or ghost or whatever was like talking to her and telling her and she would say it and he was like, I mean, there's no way she would have known this and the guy was like, oh my gosh, like that's something my grandpa used to say to me and it was like the grand, I mean, it get the chills like talking yeah. about it and I mean, so it's like... Yeah. I don't know. Can well, I think, well, demons have been around yeah. since the beginning of time, so, I mean, they could see. And Jesus they, spoke to demons. Exactly. So, <laughs> a demon knows? to me is, like, know. a bad spirit, but, like, right. I mm -hmm. mean, my then, mom told me about one. What were you going to say, though? No, no, but, I said, yeah, and then there's, like, angels and, but, like, it's, but yeah. that's yeah. what I think. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, yeah, um, so, we lived in this little mo mobile home, my mom, um, my mom is Mormon, so she always would kneel on the ground to pray, mm -hmm. and in this mobile home, I lived with my dad full-time, so, um, I was only over there, you know, every other weekend or whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And she told us later, like, that we would always see, and I re actually remember this, most of my brother, but, like, we would see, like, something pass by the doorway, and we'd be like, Mom, and call, and she would just ignore us. And it turns out she was always on the opposite side of the house. And so we saw, like, a shadow or, like, something go by the door, and later after we had moved out of that and grew up, she would tell me that, like, while she was kneeling and praying, like, she had the bishop come and, like, pray over, like, the mobile home and stuff because she would feel, like, demons basically, like, kind mm. of, like, around her, kind of, like, mm. trying to pull her away from, like, her mm -hmm. prayer and, like, all of that kind of stuff, and she, she said after that, it was fine, but she was, like, there was definitely, like, bad spirits like in that place yeah so that's creepy that's interesting I mean nowadays I'm not as is it creepy yeah but I'm not as like afraid because I've also learned that like we have authority over those mm -hmm. things and like mm -hmm. I don't know if anyone like you know if you feel something at night or you see something if you're like in Jesus name you must go <laughs> but right. I say that I'm, all the time I, I, me yeah, too I've done it yeah I've done it yeah, yeah. yeah. um I, yeah I think I always would say in Jesus name I ask you to leave yeah. um and when you say that every oh, don't ask them yeah that don't was nice I tell command them, them. <laughs> yeah I command get the hell out of my house <laughs> yeah I command you to leave but we got some creepy stories in our DMs. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. I, like, they're hard to even, like, read. Like, oh. we have to, like, pause in between reading them. You guys. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can share my friends. Okay, yeah, go for it. Head. So, go for um, it. So, one of my best friends, her, um, 
I, without looking at the story, I think it was her grandma's house um, somewhere like upstate New York. And it was built in like the 1900s and it's like really close to a cemetery, which is creepy. And she has a full on doll room. No, okay. she, nope, 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 in, nope. Yeah, nope. in that house. There's yeah. a doll room. Like, like there used to be, or they bought it like that, or she made the doll room? Or... Yeah, she made the doll room. Like, she had all these dolls. How old is your friend? No, no, no. It's not my friend. It's her grandma. Oh, what is... Oh, okay, but what's... Uh, my grandma collected dolls, too. Let me see. It what was... Up with that? Um, Plates and dolls and thimbles and shit. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, my mom <laughs> had this doll, and I hated it, and I was house. moving it, and I accidentally dropped it on its face, and it broke, and I was kind of like, thank you. Yeah, dolls are... Or does that doll haunt you now? <laughs> nope, she sure doesn't. <laughs> Do um, dolls have spirits? I know. Dolls and puppets, like... Mm, yeah, vent like ventriloquist puppets. Ugh. Oh my gosh. That's creepy. <laughs> Clowns yeah. for me. You know that one Muppet yeah. with the long blonde... Well, kind of... <laughs> with the long <laughs> the blonde, blonde hair? <laughs> I can't handle that the puppet. Muppet, that's yeah. funny. Anyway. Um... Yeah, no clowns for me. I don't mess with that. I, like, no, went to Not Scary too. Farm one time and, like... Oh, yeah, that's... I've oh, hyperventilated being chased by <gasps> yes! a clown. I my, my son, we took him there for a 17th birthday with his friends to yeah. um, Magic Mountain. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah. The roller coaster park, Magic Mountain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they do the same thing, and they're, like, running around, and they've got, like, chainsaws. Mm -hmm. and that is yeah, terrifying. I, Why? I, I could be in a vessel and drive where you can't touch me, but the fact that you can get up in my face Like, you walk around the corner, don't like and they're like, yeah. <sighs> yeah, like, don't don't touch me. Don't put your chainsaw near me. No. Like, I don't know. That creeps me out. Yeah. Oh my People gosh, love that. wait, it reminds me of this story. Um, one time I went to, there was like this haunted mill in Marietta where I grew up and um, people like said they like saw like, you know, a girl there and there's like this whole story and it's like fenced off. And so we're like, of course, teenagers like, let's go to the mill in the middle of the night. It's Ugh. freaking creepy. It's like yeah. this run down old mill. And um, we had just seen the movie, well, is it called Quarantine? That's funny. COVID. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's called quarantine where people like get some sort of rabie thing or whatever. And they, when they turn into these like zombie things, they like have this screech that like, I'll, I won't do it on the podcast because it would hurt people's <laughs> ears. But, um, we were in the mill and my friend had, I kid you not, he had just gotten surgery for his ACL, like major leg surgery. He was on crutches. And in the middle of the mill, I heard an owl screech. Now I think it was an owl. Ugh. I pushed him on his crutches <laughs> out of my way and I bolted out of there. Like to this day, he has never forgiven me. Like you shoved me on crutches. Oh. I was like, nope, bye. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my um, gosh. I kind of. I've been to an abandoned yeah. insane asylum that night. I was doing a photo oh. shoot there when I was like where seventeen. It was in Santee or El Cajon. Uh, Is that the one in, in California? California? No, no, that's no, no. West Haven. Okay, which no, we'll, I have. We have. I have a yeah. listener who's or actually. Never mind, go ahead. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what that is. So, um, but yeah, it was like dusk when we were shooting. And so then I like lost the photographer and I was roaming around and I was walking down this like long hallway with the same asylum, like the actual rooms, like mm -hmm. on this side and this side and this mm -hmm. side. And every single room was a padded room and they were pitch black. And I was walking through this. And I was like, this is how my life ends. Like I get pulled <laughs> into one of these fucking rooms uh -huh. and the photographer bounces. Like you pushed your friend and was like, fucking see ya, I'm out. And I was like, this is how I die. Yeah. But I didn't. Um, but it was creepy. There was like blood smeared on the walls and like, <gasps> or like, I don't, I don't know if it was feces. Ooh. I don't know what, oh but my gosh. it was gross. Like Ugh. we shouldn't have been in there. Um, okay. So <laughs> we always get sidetracked, but so my yeah. friend's <laughs> grandma's house, oh, the one yeah. that's by a cemetery, so, like, the dollhouse, they have the doll room in there. And then she told me a story of, like, when she was little, um, she would go to bed before her grandma, and her grandma would, like, stay up playing some game. And she, like, got up in the middle of the night and went to the bathroom and saw her grandma. She called her um, Mimi or something, like, up on the stairs. And she, like, called her name, and she didn't answer. And so she just thought, okay, she's going to bed. And then she asked her grandma the next morning, like, what were you doing on the stairs? And she's like, I... I wasn't on the stairs. Like, I went to bed right after you did. Like, I didn't stay up. And so she's like, I distinctly saw a woman, like a grandma with gray hair, like, on the stairs. And, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> and then her dad, who, like, grew up there, obviously, um, there's this story that he tells them about when he saw Santa Claus outside of their house. Oh, no. What? Um, he was mm -hmm. in the bathroom and saw an old man and came running out when he was little and told his siblings he saw Santa Claus and they were making fun of him for it. Well, come to find out there's like this cellar, like basement thing that, oh, whoops, my friend, uh, was, <laughs> was always like afraid of. And 
um, as she got older, her dad told her the story like, no, I claws. Um, it was actually, he had like seen a photo, I guess, of the man who had killed himself in oh, no, that no, cellar, no, no. like basement. And oh. that's what he looked like. But he oh. just told everyone it was Santa no, Claus. No, no thanks. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Woo, um, so, yeah. That's creepy. creepy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have a friend, My the only story I have, I don't have any personal stories that I've encountered, but one of my best friends growing up, I would go to her house all the time and I would always hear things outside her bedroom when we were the only room downstairs. Everyone else was upstairs and it was all tile. And I would always hear things like clacking and like footsteps and things like that, but I never thought anything of it because I was young and not thinking ghosts. Yeah. And later on when we were older, like when we were in high school, her mom actually told us that she would always see this silhouette of a person. And her mom was not like the kind of person to like just say stuff, you know? So anyway, I guess her son was very little at the time and he came into her room to like snuggle and like just be in there or whatever. Yeah. And he was, they were sitting there for a couple minutes and he like looked up at the end of the bed, which is where the silhouette would, would be all the time and was like, mommy, who is that? Oh. And she was like, wait, wait, what? Like, what do you mean? Who's who? Like, who's, what are you looking at? Cause she could see it, but she didn't know he could. And he's like her, like that right there. Who is that? And that was the end of the story. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, never spent the night in her house yeah. again. That family member that I said who can like see spirits and stuff like that, um, where she grew up, she would always see, um, she would tell her mom when she was like little um, that she would see things. And her mom mm-hmm. was like, no, you're crazy. But then came to find out that it was true. Um, she would see like an Indian chief in the hallway. And um, they found out later on that like where their homes were built was like on some uh, sort of Indian burial, burial ground. And a lot of weird things would like happen in the homes and stuff Why like would that. anyone build on someone's burial ground? Dude, no. I don't, like Indian That's just spirits and burial grounds. Right. Mm-mm, you yeah. don't, like you don't take stuff Any from Any burial there, grounds. Well, yeah, I know. But like Native American burial yeah. grounds, that was very, I mean, sacred. every, it yeah, is. very yeah. sacred. But like, I mean, yeah, that's, uh, that's a no-no. Yeah. I have one up here. Um, She says, uh, I've, let's see, I, sorry, let me find my place here. I've watched my boys play with spirits. The most recent is my two-year-old who is playing and belly laughing. Um, (laughs) she passed, uh, with his grandma. She passed away last November. I asked him to tell me who he was laughing with and took, he took me to a picture, her picture on the wall. (laughs) So a two-year-old. Okay. So like that. It could yeah. be like a good spirit. Like grandma. that's what I said to her. I said, uh, like maybe it's an angel playing with the baby, like, and it's a familiar face so that the baby isn't scared. There you go. That's maybe. how I'm gonna rationalize that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I said, glad they're good spirits, and she said, for the most part, they're good. I've learned to do certain things to protect myself. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Who else here? So this one is more about witchcraft. Um, the story. So I'll just kind of give you the footnotes um, because apparently reading's hard for me today. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I can't really breathe. These pants are just actually way too tight. (laughs) Well, it's like when you have to read in front of the class, like all of a sudden you can't read and you're like stumbling over your words. Yeah. That's what I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, So basically uh, the girl that was telling me the story, she was 10 or 11 at the time and her dad was, her parents were separated and her dad was dating someone new. Mm -hmm. And... um, the new chick was over and the girl who was 10 or 11 at the time was cold. And so the girlfriend allowed her to wear her jacket. Mm -hmm. And she said that she tried to kind of give it back to the girl and she was the lady as she was leaving and she was kind of avoiding her. Like she didn't Mm -hmm. want to take the jacket back with her. So she started to have panic attacks, couldn't really sleep at night, started seeing shadows in her room and just like, it was off. Like she also said that um, she felt like people were just staring at her. Like, you know Mm -hmm. that feeling when you're being Mm -hmm. watched? Mm -hmm. Um, She said she continuously felt that in her room. And she said her mom was over one day and kind of came in like looking like a little off. Like, I don't know if she, she, I think she made a typo in the story, but like was looking for something maybe. Mm -hmm. She found the jacket and she was like, whose is this? And then um, the girl told her, oh, it's dad's girlfriend. Um, And secretly without her knowing, her mom got rid of it and like did something to her room. Mm -hmm. And she said, I never saw or felt anything else in my room again. And she was only 10 or 11. Um, And then later she came to find out that basically um, his dad, her dad's, uh, girlfriend was like a total psycho and supposedly known for doing like black magic and witchcraft Mm. and so she thinks that maybe like she had done something to the jacket um to kind of keep it in the room Mm -hmm. and keep her like grip on her dad or something Mm -hmm. this give me the chills yeah Yeah. um yeah that's 
that's creepy. There's um, some really creepy shows on Netflix. I was watching one alone and I couldn't watch it anymore. And it was about like literal, like this chick was like, you know, when you hear someone talk and like, you know, they're not lying. Like you can just tell uh-huh. like your bullshit meter is like, yeah, no, this is the truth. Mm-hmm. Like this chick was talking about her house being built on a native American burial ground. Yep. And this she one was too native American. She was, well, you, I want to hear about this one. That stuff. She was talking about furniture literally levitating off the ground. What the? Then they found a lady's body in the floor, underneath the house and the floorboards, like um, candles and stuff. Like the guy that used to live there a long time ago. Like, I want to know. Oh, yeah, it's creeping me out. So I had to stop <laughs> watching that TV show because I was like, oh, um, this is like really creepy. <laughs> Really creepy. So, okay, what's this one about the Native American? Okay, well, this one's kind of interesting because it's, like, local. So, if you're in the San Diego or San Marcos area, there's this place called Quest Haven. Which I've never heard of. Um, or Elfin Forest. Um, I have heard of that. So, yeah. So, it's just kind of known that it's this spooky place. I think we say that there's, like, this cult... I don't Wait, even wasn't know. it an insane asylum? Yeah, like, everybody yeah, has this Quest different Haven view was. of what it was. Like, there's this, there's this place that's, like chained off and it's got this huge gate and you mm-hmm. can't get into it and these people wear robes and nobody knows exactly well I'm sure some people know what it is I don't know what it people is people live there it's they like a, a commune to. or something or it used to be an insane asylum but now it's something okay. I don't even know but this this person I'm gonna look um, it up I think it was an insane asylum lived okay so th- I'm just gonna read it because yeah, yeah yeah my childhood best friend lived in my neighborhood guest house while they were while they purchased and built a new house on undeveloped property. The property was huge, I would say about five acres, and on a big mountain. Before they started building, we would play on the hillside on some boulders and built forts and played with na- played Native Americans. I don't know if that means that it was on Native American soil, but... I think on... um, she means like cowboys and Indians type thing, but oh, she's got it. saying Native Americans okay. to be polite and... On, okay, got it. Um, on some of the rocks, we found those mortar carvings, like from Native Americans grinding up stuff back in the day. Probably should have told our parents about finding that, but we wanted to keep our. Wait, what did you find? Um, mortar. Carvings? Mortar carvings. Okay, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Um, probably should have told our parents about our findings, but we wanted to keep our fort. Anyways, fast forward to when they built their house. It's one of those big modern houses with concrete flooring everywhere. My friend's room had a loft bed where she slept and a giant windowsill that was that was a day bed where I would sleep at night. So everyone went to bed one night and I woke up because I could hear furniture sliding across the concrete floor just outside of my friend's <laughs> room. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> my hands are like sweating. I'm sorry. I don't I, want I my feet put on, on the ground. Deodorant. I like stink right now. Sorry guys. I got it's okay. like, you know, onion stuff and BO, we're all good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, her door was shut. Wait, I gotta put my feet up on the table. It's creeping me out. Her door was shut, but I could tell it was a person because the sounds were too loud and distinct to be like the dogs doing something. It was just like the chairs were being pulled out constantly and they were slid back in and it was like skidding sounds. But then her door opened, which didn't alarm me at first because she had a boxer dog that had done this in the past. But then the door shut. I was freaked out, so I barely opened my eyes to check to see who it was, but I couldn't see anyone in her room. Then I heard footsteps, like bare feet smacking across along the concrete floor. I honestly was so scared, I just played dead and pretended I was asleep because I had no idea what to do. My friend was all the way up on her loft bed and I could see her and I couldn't see her or get to her. I heard the footsteps come all the way up to the bottom of the day bed I, that I was sleeping in. Then I could feel the sheet move where my legs were. And I Hell felt no. And I felt what I thought was a woman's hand touch my ankle. My heart was pounding out of my chest and I was just a little bitch (laughs) and didn't move and pretended I was asleep. It felt like an eternity, but then I remembered finally having the courage to kind of pretend I was waking up to see what their reaction would be. So I like barely moved and I heard a woman gasp. I immediately heard the same footprints run to the door and it opened again and slammed shut. I was too afraid to get out of the bed, so I remember just throwing pillows and stuffed animals at my friend and hoped that I could wake her up but I couldn't wake her up so I stayed up most of the night freaked out then in the morning I told her everything and was crying my eyes out and she wanted to com- comfort me and she had this cute little calendar that we always put all of our BFF plans on she really went out of her way to say oh you know let's just do something really fun and cool and take our minds off of it so we went to the calendar and just looked at it looked at it looked at each other it was D de los de, de los muertos November aka day of the dead 
oh my that's gosh. her story. That is creepy. So it says the area um, is rumored to have once been inhabited by gypsies and their social kin in the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries. Legend has it that other natives and residents from neighboring communities came in and drove off the gypsies, slaughtering those who stood in their way. Yeah. So apparently gypsies were slaughtered there. It was a gypsy. It, it was and a gypsy, gypsy woman. I feel like creepy. Bor- Borat. A hey, gypsy. <laughs> a Borat. That's okay. creepy, but I would have, like, crawled my ass up to that loft bed and be like, go wake your parents up. We're leaving this bitch. <laughs> yeah. Like, I would not have just chilled in there. No. I would have just, like, I don't know, started praying or Yeah. Something. This other one's even worse, but I'll I'll let you guys say a little something. Yeah. Wrong place. Yeah, wrong place. Um, yeah, this one's, like, this one might be hard for me to read. Do you want me to read it? Oh, wait. Oh, that wasn't the bad one? No. Oh, gosh. It gets worse. Um, <laughs> okay, so what about Ouija boards? Have you guys ever done that? Uh, Do you F with that? Do you believe in it? Do you not? I have never had the balls to mess with it because Same. I feel like it just invites, yep. like, yeah. spirits, and it just lets them know that, like, it You're, gives them a passageway almost, like an yeah. inn. Yeah. Like, I guess, like, how much power does a spirit have? Like, everyone feels like each spirit has a different level of power, and I think it's how much you believe, maybe, hmm. or I don't know. Yeah. Like, some I can think, touch things, some can't. Like, I don't know. I almost feel like how we talk about, like, you have the authority. It's like, how much power do you give it? Right. Well, right? Because you're, yeah, you're invited, you're asking it questions. Mm-hmm. I did do mm-hmm. it once, which I actually regret. Mm-hmm. Well, I regretted it. How old were you? I think I was, like... Sixth grade, maybe seventh grade, and I was mm-hmm. at one of my mom's friend's houses, and her friend had kids a little bit older than me, so I was a little bit, you know, like influenced, like oh, I want to fit in, yeah. you know, whatever. Yeah. I didn't want to be the the one that like ruined the fun, and yeah. so and there was a part of me I think that was a little bit intrigued, but I was definitely like very scared too. Mm-hmm. And I just asked it, we like we each asked it a question, and I asked it a question about if this boy would ever like me that I basically had a crush on from like kindergarten to eighth grade, <laughs> and I was not a cute junior higher like. Oh, me neither. I was, like, big and pudgy, and I had, like, separation anxiety, and I would cry all the time, and I was super obnoxious. Like, I would not have (laughs) liked me or wanted to be friends with me either. So, there was no way in heck this guy was going to like me because he was the most popular, (laughs) most hottest guy in the school. Every girl wanted him. Fast forward. Well, it said yes, that he would. It said that he would like me. I'm getting, like, the biggest Charlie horse in my leg. Ooh, ow. I know. That's weird. (laughs) Why is it weird? Well, I'm, like, holding my legs up like this, so it's not, like, unexplained. Okay. Anyway. (laughs) Say, do I need to pray over your leg right now? No, you might just need to rub it. (laughs) (laughs) If Brooklyn's doing this, if you can see it, it's not. (laughs) Anyway, off topic. Anyway, so I asked him if this boy would like me, and it said yes. Fast forward to, like, me being, like, 19 years old. Somehow we reconnect. The guy ends up, like totally liking me and I was so over him at this point but we were just friends and we would go snowboarding together and all of that but he did end up liking me and then when I told him I wasn't interested we never talked again wait but like did the board move itself I don't know I don't know if they moved it that's the thing with them like I don't know really know I don't think you like well one of these stories says that the little toggle thing whatever it is literally like talisman I don't know what it's called yeah it like got up and flew across the room (gasps) oh no I need to put my legs up again for this one so, ah. what do you think about Ouija boards, Brooklyn? Oh, I'm the same as you. I don't yeah. like to invite that kind of no, stuff. No, I would never now. Yeah. My kids, oh my gosh. That's but we don't judge why, you if you do. Yeah, but that's also yeah, why I, just I don't, do it. Um, like, watch movies like that because I feel like it invites it into your life. And like I said, the more power you give those things, they'll, you know, they'll be around. And mm-hmm. yeah, so I just, I don't F with that. Like, mm-mm. Yeah. No Ouija boards, no nothing. No. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mess with a Ouija board. Mm-hmm. I would watch a movie though for entertainment. Yeah. But um so do you wanna this is like the creepiest story. There's a I long think we've creepy story. Jenna, you wanna do the creepy story? Mm. So Jenna has a apparently good story that we're saving for last. About yeah. possession. Oh gosh. It, How does that happen? Same um, way? Like well, the Ouija board kind of idea? I think so what I've kind of been taught and what I have heard know of, um, spirits can like attach themselves to things so they can um they i don't know i don't know if you can like be possessed um but they can attach themselves to you or to animals or like objects that's what someone who's well versed in this has told me so how do you get rid of them if you're they're not welcome um i I, I think think, yeah you have to like command it to leave and um you know i don't know people talk about like saging i've never done that i do that um, okay, so 
the person who's in my life who said, um, who, she's a close family member who um, is like the medium or whatever, who sees spirits and stuff. She said you have to be careful with that because you can, with saging, like get rid of things, but you can also piss off other things. That's what she told me. It can't be that good if it gets pissed off because you're trying to protect yourself, right? I don't know. I don't know how all this works, but... Okay, so when I was 15, I had a friend... No, not me. I'm reading somebody else's. <laughs> when I was 15, I had a friend who got me a Ouija board for my birthday. When my mom saw it, she got super upset and told us we weren't allowed to have it in the house and told me her story about what happened to her when she was younger. I didn't really care about her story, and I didn't let it upset me or phase me. I thought it was a joke, so I asked a friend to sneak the Ouija board to, so that my mom would think that I didn't play it. And Okay, so there was a group of five of us and we started using it and talking to a spirit and unfortunately we were stupid enough to start doing things like mocking it while we were talking to it and making it upset because we weren't believing it and instead we're making fun of it because we thought it was one of our friends who was moving the little tool that you use the spirit got upset and said that it was going to start doing things to hurt us in some way because we were bothering it and the next thing we know one of our friends got possessed uh, for like five or ten minutes something like that and you could tell that she was because her voice had changed her mannerisms the way that she was talking everything was completely different and every time we would say her name that spirit would say that it wasn't her and would say its name and after it was done she basically kind of collapsed on the floor and then suddenly was just bawling her eyes out and could not be consoled when we asked her was she, was, if she was really possessed, she kept crying and saying she will never, ever, ever, ever do that again and never wants to experience that again. The same night, we were watching the movie The Craft. Huh. Just to, you know, add a... Yeah. I think matter's worse and yeah. creepier. <laughs> add no gasoline to the fire. Yeah. And there's that scene where one of the girls throws open the shower curtain in order to find the other girl, and she does that. And when she does that, she actually says something. And what we realized is what she says is actually the name of the spirit that we had been talking to. That was creepy. Wait, I was is that based on a true story, the craft? Oh, I don't know. No, I, I think know. it's just totally made up. Okay. Like yeah. 80s story or whatever. Huh. Movie. Um, I was really freaked out, and so I refused to keep the Ouija board in my house, but I had a friend who was the one who was doing most of the mocking while we were playing together in the group, and she decided she would take it home with her. Because she was the one doing most of the mocking, the spirit in the board had told her that he was going to do something to hurt her. And she told us later that night when she took a shower, she felt a sharp pain and looked down and saw that she was bleeding from her side. When she got out of the shower and looked in the mirror, she saw that she was definitely bleeding and the name of the spirit was actually carved into her side. I wish camera phones existed back then because I'd love to like uh, yeah. have that corroborated by an actual photo. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm like speechless. That so is, she says so we saw the scabs on her, so we believed it to be true. But honestly, we don't know if she carved it in herself. But we have a hard time believing that she would have hmm. done that to herself because she wasn't that kind of person. Okay, that's where that is. I'm done reading. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, um, can, I'm like okay. Like there's more, but oh, the spirit. Said I need to breathe. That. Um, it was going to hurt someone close to her later that week, and her boyfriend that she was dating got into a super bad car accident that same week. Um, so none of them ever played it again. Oh my gosh. Like, more? How can spirits have that much control to I like, feel like cause let's, an accident? Yeah, let's just like, stop there. I don't know. So that's pretty oh my, creepy. Wow. I'm just like scamming, scamming, <laughs> as, like skimming through this, and I see something about like. Um, a particular night she finished reading a book and she was laying on her back and getting ready to fall asleep and just before I turned out the light I felt my body lift off the bed and be thrown back onto the bed. I was super freaked out but also was like did this really happen to me? I decided to just roll over into my side and turn out my light but I felt really scared and creeped out and then suddenly started feeling like something was breathing on me. Oh my god. And I opened my <laughs> eyes and saw a shadow of what I believe was a man kneeling next to me and I refused to blink and immediately turned on my light next to me and there was nothing there oh my gosh yeah so this, okay so let's just like clear the air number one this shit is real <laughs> like <laughs> and don't f with it okay like there are demons it is real like <laughs> just don't and they're not allowed in here. We are protected. Yeah, we're going to say a prayer at the end to cleanse uh -huh. everybody. Yeah, we are. Here's yeah. a little short one. Um, uh, 
She says, here's a ghost story for you. When I was a baby, my family lived in a super creepy apartment. Lots of weird shit happened all the time, and I was always looking into corners and crying hysterically until I was taken out of the apartment. One night, my dad woke up to me screaming, and I wasn't in my crib. My dad looked under my crib, and I was there screaming, so my dad tried to pull me pull me out, but something was pulling me back away from him. As soon as he got me out, we left the apartment and moved out the next day. Oh, yeah, under God. she was under her crib as a baby. Yeah, yeah, that's that's cool. Uh, yeah. Mm. Um, <laughs> that's. Uh, I'm gonna go home and like reanoint my house. My girlfriend has like anointing oil from Israel, <laughs> so oh. I'm gonna call her up and be that's like, "Can cool. you come like anoint my house?" <laughs> yeah, share the wealth, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one. Okay. I haven't pre-read. I haven't um, pre-read any of these, yeah. so I'll just read it. Um, okay. My next door neighbor passed away suddenly from an infection and his family sold the house and moved within a month after. So he apparently was lost. What? What? My next door neighbor passed away suddenly from mm, an infection. They, and his, so, what? they... She's oh. talking about the spirit. Oh. Yes. Okay. Like, because, the spirit. because he passed away. Seven. And that's like a gray area. Like when you die, like, do you go to like heaven or hell? Or like, I mean, if that's what you or believe you in, you know, or, or like, yeah, that's what she was yeah. getting at. I should have continued reading. So, so apparently he was lost. I don't know. He would just chill in my room and I would try and tell him what happened. Fast forward to six to eight months later. And the older couple that moved in next door had invited me for tea. So cute. In parentheses. Mm -hmm. I was thinking the same thing. How mm -hmm. cute. Who does that? Um, while we were chatting, they mentioned their son has always been a little, quote, different. And when he came to see their new house a week before, he asked who the dude hanging out on the stairs was. Without a thought, I blurted out, oh, that's John. Then explained to them who he was and what happened. They were relieved in a way that they, that they said the electricity and lights are always weird on that side of the house. From that moment on, they told John what happened to him every day, and he finally left a few hmm. months later. Totally weird, but I guess once it's happening, you get used to it. So, like, how would a ghost not know what had happened to them? Because um, I, I think, would the, a lot, I I think it's because they say it happened suddenly. Like so, the like, they didn't fast. know it was coming, or... Yeah, huh. I don't know. I, had a, I have a friend that, like, says that she has a, a ghost that, like, follows her. Like, wherever house she goes to, it goes to. Uh -huh. But it's nice. Like Casper, it? the friendly ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just, huh. I totally forgot. There was a story one time. Um, we were staying somewhere near, like, Bass Lake, my family. And this home, or this home, this, uh, like, hotel was used um, back, like, in the war days. I think it was, like, World War One or two, Or no, no, the Civil War, I think is what it was. And anyways, um, it was used for, like, injured soldiers. Mm. And they would come and, like, rehabilitate or die there. And... Um, like super early in the morning, like 5 a.m., my mom heard a knock on our door and we were there vacationing with family friends and she thought it was them. Like she heard steps like down the hallway because it was like wooden, heard the steps, knock on the door. And then like, I guess, I guess she went to the door and was like, like no one was there. And she was like, that's weird. Like they must have came and like left or I don't know. Um, cause it took her a second to get to the door and anyways, she had asked um, someone who worked at the hotel, like, later on, like, um, by chance, is like, is this place, like, haunted? And she just kind of, like, looked at my mom and was like, why? And apparently there was, like, a nurse who they've, like, seen her there. She, like, died. Like, she, like, fell in love with one of the soldiers and, like, died there. And there's, like, this whole story there. And my mom's like, and she, uh, oh, because later on she asked our friends, like, hey, why'd you come to the door at, like, 5 a.m.? He's like, I didn't. She's like. Okay, but I heard footsteps. Someone knocked on the door, and like, and so then my mom asked the employee who worked there, and Weird. yeah, la 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 la. Crazy. I have, look, look at the chills on my legs. Like, have you guys ever been to the oh. Winchester House? Yeah, I have. Yes, you I have. have. Been to the oh, I have not. But when I was younger, heard about it. Yeah, it's like where that lady builds all those weird like stairways to no and, nowhere. And everybody yeah. says that she haunts it or something. Yeah, right? it's a super cool. Um, I actually watched a TV it's up show north, right? episode yeah. on it. It's up yeah. by San well, Jose, north to us. Yeah, yeah, San Jose. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was closer. No. Uh. Um, no, it's okay. up by San Jose. Um, yeah, I, it, it was like a really cool, uh, tour. Mm -hmm. I watched a movie or a show on It wasn't that. creepy though? Oh, it was so creepy. Oh, okay. <laughs> like you see and you walk and it's just, yeah, she kept building and she, yeah. and there, see, she I would always not, have people building there. I'm claustrophobic, so like I couldn't do that even if it wasn't scary. Huh. Yeah, no, it was weird. It was totally creepy. 
Yeah. So um, what about like aliens? Oh yeah. Yeah. So I, I I haven't really seen any stories in my DMs um about aliens, but I've definitely watched a lot of documentaries with some very real creepy stories where multiple people would tell their perspective because they were there when the person left and went outside or like whatever mm-hmm. and it's definitely creepy but what, what are your guys thoughts i feel like we can't we, we can't be the only beings like with all these yeah different like i don't all, know what i think like we're just a speck in the galaxy i know have you i mean it's on topic but off topic have you seen like i think it's demi lovato like she's like doing something where like she goes like ufo oh, yeah. searching because she like saw something and what? so she went out there with like a camera and i think it's on like netflix or some some show but she's trying yeah. to get people to stop calling them aliens oh because she thinks that's offensive or something oh <laughs> Yeah, I kind of laughed too. I was like, oh. Okay, Everything's well, offensive these, these days. Anyway, I just <laughs> no. thought that was Refer interesting. Refer back to our last podcast. <laughs> Stop being offended by things. Well, Actually, I think it might be the first future. It might future. be after this one, yeah. yeah. This one's coming out this week. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Next one. Squeezing this one in. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. I don't know. I um, It's funny. My cousin just sent me a video of, um, it was like my bridal shower, and we were out in the backyard, and it was like that evening at post-bridal shower, and there was like this... I don't know, like light thing, like in the air. And I like look at her and I was like, it's a freaking alien. I didn't say freaking though. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So, I mean, I've seen like weird things in the sky, but I I don't know. That's a hard one. Like, I feel like I lean more towards there aren't, but prove me wrong. I think the government's hiding a lot of weird stuff. I don't know they're hiding stuff. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what they're hiding. I don't either. So, and what's that place that's like in Arizona or something that mm-hmm. people? What's it called? Area Fifty One. Yeah. Mm. What's people like say? There's weird stuff. I don't know. Yeah. There's a place out. If you you might know this. If you you've been camping and stuff. There's this area. Me? Yeah. Remember you told us you went once. Out? Oh, to Glamis. Yeah. Oh, and I've been to Agatia. There. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Same thing. Whatever. <laughs> um, Nick was telling me I hadn't. We didn't have the time to look at it, but apparently, like over by. Um, outgoing that way like when you're going through the super super rocky like mountains over there there's like some guy who has like um a disco and dance floor set up for aliens for when they return no way and like <laughs> it's all set up like a little nightclub and Should it's just we go? outside yeah i'd love to go and take pictures and he appear- dance? apparently i don't know how he feels about people visiting but um oh. it's pretty interesting and he definitely believes in aliens okay. so okay i have one here okay i haven't pre-read this so okay. i don't know how it is but um she said, paranormal experience. A house mm-hmm. I lived in, uh, I don't, so I don't know if this is about aliens or what. Um, a house I lived in before, around 2010, 2015, had a death take place. The husband had kidnapped his wife and locked her in a closet before taking her life. Since we bought the house as a bank-owned home, they did not disclose this to us. I did not know that they didn't have to decide that. It always had to be disclosed. Yeah, I would think that too. If you ask, I think they oh, have to. Oh, yeah, you have to yeah. ask. Okay, um... Since we bought the house as a bank-owned home, they did not disclose this to us, so we had to find out by pulling police reports. <laughs> Anywho, I had seen the wife in the house a few times when going to the potty in the middle of the night in a mirror. <gasps> um, but mostly she would knock stuff over in the closet, shoes, shoe boxes, clothing. She never harmed us, but I think she just wanted people to know she was still there. Ew. At night That's in the creepy. mirror. Blech. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah. Um, have you ever Hard have, pass. have you ever done the Bloody Mary thing oh in the mirror God. at night at eleven o'clock at night? No. I've done that. Nothing happened. No. I no, but I would I have. Do my friends would do that in like junior high. They would do That's it in the I bathroom. Did. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. You have to say it three times, but mm-hmm. nothing ever happened. I, I'm surprised I was. Uh, I would say I Beetlejuice. I was gonna yeah. say. I was just thinking that. I was like, I think I said Beetlejuice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, so I have one more if we want to throw it in there. The story. Do we got time for one more? I don't know. It's up to you guys. Do one what do you guys have? Do you have one? Um, one more little quickie. <laughs> Let's see. Let me see if I can find one. Do you want me to write this one? An old farmhouse, nineteen hundreds. Ew. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Take it away, so, Jenna. Yes. Uh, we were visiting family in Ireland and went to an extremely old farm. The farm was an old working an old working farm and farmhouse from the early 1900s. I'm already that, creeped out. <laughs> exactly. The 1900s, right? yeah. Uh, that they had turned into a museum. My husband's son and I were exploring the farmhouse, and my son and I walked into the kid's bedroom, and my hair on my arm stood on end. 
like, <laughs> like oh, Kristen's wow. are currently. Wow, seriously, Kristen. <laughs> um, yeah. On the table by the bed stand bed sat a doll. Of course, there was a doll. Freaking doll. Like, why wouldn't there be doll dolls? I mean, there's a fucking yeah. freaking doll. <laughs> anyway, mm, I hate dolls. Innocent, right? No. Um, not so much. Without speaking a word, my six-year-old son and I walked out as quickly as we could out of the room. My son told me that he was scared in that room, and I reassured him that everything was fine. However, that night and every night, we began having the same nightmare of a young blonde girl being a young girl, a young blonde girl screaming for help and drowning in a well. And that same doll from the bedroom floating to the top of the well after the screaming stopped. So this is the dream they're having every night. That they both are having. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah, her and her son were having the same Mm -hmm. dream. Mm -hmm. So we flew home after our trip and went to visit a friend at their house. Our friend's dogs loved us, but that day they tried to attack my son. Does that mean that it keeps going or do I just go down? Oh, our friend asked what was going on with our energy and we could only think of the doll and the nightmare. It turned out that a child had drowned in the well according to history. But thankfully our friend was able to clear the energy and my son and I never had the nightmare again. Wow. Ew. And on that note, happy wow. Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, creepy. creepy for I'm you. just going to eat candy and watch Nightmare Before Christmas because it's a Halloween movie. Yeah. If you guys want more stories, I'm sure if you read in the YouTube comments, there will be some people's creepy ghost stories. Oh my gosh, if I don't here. like, yeah, comment on people's, I, I may not read those stories. <laughs> I will read them. I will read them too. There you go. <laughs> and everyone else will too. So if yeah. you want to yeah. share your story below, or if you sent it and we didn't get to it, yeah. Sorry. We did read a lot of them, though, so, like, yeah. we did take pleasure in reading them. Mm-hmm. Um, we, unfortunately, just don't have all the time in the world on here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we probably should have done a couple different series on this one, but we didn't think about adding this one in until last minute. Yeah. So. Yeah. A little extra podcast for y'all. We have um, some happy Halloween. Happy Halloween yeah. if you guys celebrate, and if not, hopefully you can have fun with it in some way yeah. and carve cool pumpkins and, yeah. yeah. Um, hopefully the rest of my costume comes in before Halloween. The dress is supposed to... <laughs> they canceled... Uh, this isn't what I'm going to be. I just happen to have this. What are you guys going to be? Um, uh, oh, we're going to be um, Toy Story. So my Aww, son, Jensen, so he's going to be Woody. And on the bottom of his bo- boot, we're going to write Andy. Because that's Aww. my husband's name. Oh, that's so, <laughs> so cute. So he's going to be Buzz and I'm going to be Jesse. That's and, so cute. Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah. I probably haven't dressed up in like 10 years. I'm usually too busy. Like, I, well, I just... I, you get your kids... I'm getting really? my kids ready. Oh, yeah. I have, like, a whole, like, box full of yeah. costumes. Well, this is, like, an old one. I was texting you. I have, like, Captain America. Yeah. All well, my costumes then, are in Nashville. Oh, yeah, you were saying that. I have a huge box of wigs and all my yeah. costumes. I have costumes I've never even cracked open. Like, I have so many, but they're all in Nashville. Crazy. I've had this for five years, and this is the first time I'm wearing it. I love, I'm obsessed that's, with it. So, my, one of my friends is having a party this weekend, so I might oh, wear it again. Fun. Yeah, you should. That's yeah. super cute. I like it. I, I love it. I mean, the costumes, like, come in handy. For other things, too. When your husband's a comic nerd. There yeah. you go. I was like, okay, Brooklyn may be pregnant at the next episode. Because she's not trying, but trying, or not trying. What is it? Not, not trying? Not, not trying. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were not trying. We are not, not trying. Wait. Wait, what? Uh. Wait, wait, what? That's a really confusing statement. Are you no. not trying? Or are you not not trying? We are trying to not get pregnant. Right oh, now. okay. Is yeah, I have a three-month-old. I don't need to <laughs> have another one. Yeah, and I miss yeah. you. I know. At the salon. I know. I need to come back to work. Cut that. Okay. All right. Thanks for listening, guys. We can't wait to read your stories in the comments below. Um, Thanks for listening, watching, whatever platform you're on. Um, Again, we're on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcast. And we hope you guys have a very happy Halloween and make good choices. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Cue the Twilight music. (laughs) I know, huh? <laughs> That's actually a great show to watch for Halloween, The Twilight Zone. I have like every mm. single episode. Oh, cool. Yeah. All good right. One. I better get my son out there. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>